Andrew II, also known as Andrew of Jerusalem, was king of Hungary and Croatia between 1205 and 1235. He ruled the Principality of Halilic from 1188 until 1189-1190, and again between 1208-1209 and 1210. He was the younger son of Beliakutale III of Hungary, who entrusted him with the administration of the newly conquered Principality of Halilic in 1188. Andrew's rule was unpopular, and the boyars expelled him. Beliakutale III willed property and money to Andrew, obliging him to lead a crusade to the Holy Land. Instead, Andrew forced his elder brother, King Americ of Hungary, to cede Croatia and Dalmatia as an appanage to him in 1197. The following year, Andrew occupied Hum. Despite the fact that Andrew did not stop conspiring against Americ, the dying king made Andrew guardian of his son, Ladislaus III, in 1204. After the premature death of Ladislaus, Andrew ascended the throne in 1205. According to historian Laszlo Kontler, I.T. was amidst the socio-political turmoil during Andrew's reign that the relations arrangements Institutional framework and social categories that arose under Stephen I started to disintegrate in the higher echelons of society in Hungary. Andrew introduced a new grants policy, the so-called new institutions, giving away money and royal estates to his partisans despite the loss of royal revenues. He was the first Hungarian monarch to adopt the title of King of Halilic and Lodomeria. He waged at least a dozen wars to seize the two Rus principalities, but the local boyars and neighboring princes prevented him from conquering the principalities. He participated in the Fifth Crusade to the Holy Land in 1217-1218, but the crusade was a failure. When the Servientus Regis, or Royal Servants, rose up, Andrew was forced to issue the Golden Bull of 1222, confirming their privileges. This led to the rise of the nobility in the Kingdom of Hungary. His diploma Andreanum of 1224 listed the liberties of the Transylvanian Saxon community. The employment of Jews and Muslims to administer the royal revenues led him into conflict with the Holy See and the Hungarian prelates. Andrew pledged to respect the privileges of the clergyman and to dismiss his non-Christian officials in 1233 but he never fulfilled the latter promise. Andrew's first wife, Gertrude of Morania, was murdered in 1213, because her blatant favoritism towards her German kinsmen and courtiers stirred up discontent among the native lords. The veneration of their daughter, Elizabeth of Hungary, was confirmed by the Holy See during Andrew's lifetime. After Andrew's death, his sons, Beliacutele and Columban, accused his third wife, Beatrice d'Est, of adultery and never considered her son, Stephen, to be a legitimate son of Andrew. Early life, childhood and youth Andrew was the second son of King B. Lecutale III and B. Lecutale's first wife, Agnes of Antioch. The year of Andrew's birth is not known, but modern historians agree that he was born around 1177. Andrew was first mentioned in connection to his father's invasion of the Principality of Halilich in 1188. That year, Beliakutale III invaded Halilich upon the request of its former prince, Vladimir II Yaroslavich, who had been expelled by his subjects. Beliakutale forced the new prince, Roman Ems to Slavich, to flee. After conquering Halilich, he granted it to Andrew. Beliakutale also captured Vladimir Yaroslavich and imprisoned him in Hungary. After Beliakutale's withdrawal from Halic, Roman Ems de Slavic returned with the assistance of Rurik Ross de Slavic, Prince of Belgorod Kievsky. They tried to expel Andrew and his Hungarian retinue, but the Hungarians routed the united forces of Ems de Slavic and Ross de Slavic. A group of local boyars offered the throne to Rostislav Ivanovich, a distant cousin of the imprisoned Vladimir Yaroslavich. Beliakutale III sent reinforcements to Halilich, enabling Andrew's troops to repel the attacks. 
Andrew's reign remained unpopular in Halic, because the Hungarian soldiers insulted local women and did not respect Orthodox churches. Consequently, the local boyars allied with their former prince, Vladimir Yaroslavich, who had escaped from captivity and returned to Halic. Andrew returned to Hungary after his defeat. He did not receive a separate duchy from his father, who only gave him estates and money. On his deathbed, the acute LA3, who had pledged to lead a crusade to the Holy Land, ordered Andrew to fulfill his vow. Andrew's father died on 23 April 1196, and Andrew's older brother, Americ, succeeded him. Duke of Croatia and Dalmatia Andrew used the funds that he inherited from his father to recruit supporters among the Hungarian lords. He also formed an alliance with Leopold VI, Duke of Austria, and they plotted against Americ. Their united troops routed the royal army at Maki, Slavonia, in December 1197. Under duress, King Americ gave Croatia and Dalmatia to Andrew as an appanage. In practice, Andrew administered Croatia and Dalmatia as an independent monarch. He minted coins, granted land and confirmed privileges. He cooperated with the Francopans, Babonasai, and other local lords. The canons regular of the Holy Sepulchre settled in the province during his rule. Taking advantage of Miroslav of Hum's death, Andrew invaded Hum and occupied at least the land between the Seton and Nerova rivers. He styled himself, by the grace of God, Duke of Zada and of all Dalmatia, Croatia and Hum, in his charters. Pope Innocent III urged Andrew to lead a crusade the Holy Land, but Andrew hatched a new conspiracy against Americ with the help of John, Abbot of Pannenhalma, Bolslaus, Bishop of Eac, and many other prelates and lords. The Pope threatened him with excommunication if he failed to fulfill his father's vow, but Andrew did not yield. The conspiracy was uncovered on 10 March 1199, when King Americ seized letters written by Andrew's partisans to Bishop Bolslaus. That summer, royal troops routed Andrew's army near Lake Balaton, and Andrew fled to Austria. A papal legate mediated a reconciliation between Andrew and Americ, who allowed Andrew to return to Croatia and Dalmatia in 1200. Andrew married Gertrude of Marania. Her father, Berthold, Duke of Marania, owned extensive domains in the Holy Roman Empire along the borders of Andrew's duchy. When Americ's son, Ladislaus, was born around 1200, Andrew's hopes to succeed his brother as king were shattered. Pope Innocent confirmed the child's position as heir to the crown, declaring that Andrew's future sons would only inherit Andrew's duchy. Andrew planned a new rebellion against his brother, but King Americ captured him without resistance near Varajdin in October 1203. All the magnates of the kingdom and almost the whole of the Hungarian army deserted King Americ and unlawfully sided with Duke Andrew. Very few men indeed remained with the king, and even they were terrified at the extent of the insurrection and did not dare to urge the king to hope for success, but rather advised him to flee. Then it happened that one day both sides had drawn close to each other and were beginning to prepare themselves in earnest for battle. After much wise thought, with inspiration from heaven, King Americ found a successful way by which he might recover his right to the kingdom and still remain guiltless of bloodshed. So he said to his men, Stay here a while, and do not follow me. Then he laid down his weapons, and taking only a leafy bough in his hand he walked slowly into the enemy ranks. As he passed through the midst of the armed multitude, he cried out in a loud and strong voice, now I shall see who will dare to raise a hand to shed the blood of the royal lineage. Seeing him, all fell back, and not daring even to mutter, they left a wide passage for him on either side. And then when King Americ reached his brother, he took him, and leading him outside the body of troops, he sent him to a certain castle for custody. Thomas the Archdeacon History of the Bishops of Salona and Split Andrew was first imprisoned in the fort of Gaunt G. Nijanek, then in Estegum. Alexander of the Hont Hasmani clan freed him in early 1204. 
Having fallen ill, King Americ had his son, Ladislaus, crowned king on 26 August. Andrew reconciled with his dying brother, who entrusted him with the guardianship of his son and the administration of the entire kingdom until the ward should reach the age of majority. According to the nearly contemporaneous Thomas the Archdeacon, his nephew's guardian, King Americ, died on 30 November 1204. Andrew governed the kingdom as Ladislaus's regent, but he counted his regnal years from the time of his brother's death showing that he already regarded himself as the lawful monarch during Ladislaus III's reign. Pope Innocent told Andrew that he should remain loyal to Ladislaus. Instead, Andrew seized the money that Americ had deposited for Ladislaus in Pilis Abbey. Ladislaus's mother, Constance of Aragon, fled from Hungary, taking her son to Austria. Andrew prepared to war against Leopold VI, Duke of Austria, but Ladislaus suddenly died in Vienna on 7 May 1205.